Hi, this is Tom Jay here for the King of Craft uh, Beer Reviews. Okay, so we're back for another beer review, and today is uh, something very special. We have uh, Lagunitas, the Hairy Eyeball, right there. It's an ale. It is, it is billed as an American strong ale. Now, uh, as far as beer styles go, when you talk about an American strong ale, it's very vague uh, as far as the description is concerned for uh, an American um, strong ale. It can be anywhere from 6% ABV to 25% ABV. It could either be light or dark, so they don't really, yeah, it's not really a style that has uh, gone into much. They leave it very vague. So, um, I looked up the, uh, the rate beer and the beer advocate uh, scores for this beer, and uh, they weren't available. They weren't on there. So I guess I'm going to be on my own, I'm solo today. I'll be doing it on my own. Anyway, I'm doing this uh, review. It's about 95 degrees on my porch. Excuse me for sweating, but uh, it's pretty damn hot out here. Anyway, okay, let's move on. We have our beer here. I'm going to get this bottle open. And we're going to get it into a glass and see what we got. Okay. It's darker than I thought. Darker than I thought. And uh, pours out beautifully. What a beautiful ruby red ruby red color when I hold it up to the light. It's got a small two finger, maybe finger and a half head, uh, off white to tan, uh, probably tan. Got a tan head. Like I said, really clear. Uh, you got nice carbonation coming up from the middle. Uh, it's very, very pretty beer. Very nice looking. Um, I'm gonna get a nose on this now. Let's see what we got as far as smell. It doesn't have too much of a nose, not that I'm getting, maybe it's a little bit cold, but uh, what I am getting is a, a heavy malt presence. I'm getting a heavy malt presence. Yeah, nice sweetness. Maybe a little bit of hops, a little bit of uh, citrus coming through. Um, and I say little, I mean a little, not too much. Mostly some nice, rich, sweet malts coming up through this. Uh, Lagunitas usually comes out with some very hop forward beers. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, everyone I've had has been very hoppy, 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 hoppy. Um, and they smelled very hoppy. This one, first one I've had, but I can honestly say I don't smell too much of a hop presence here. Yeah, nice and, nice and sweet, rich, uh, up front, caramel, uh, toffee, yeah, it's almost like a burnt candy type of smell. All right, I'm gonna dive in. Here we go. Tasty, tasty. Oh, wow. Mmm. That, okay, so it's malt forward. You get a big malt blast, but sweet, nice, sweet, upfront, um, rich malt, caramel, toffee, maybe a little bit of chocolate in there. Then in the middle, it's nice and smooth. Uh, you, 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 you're pretty much getting like a uh, bready, sweet middle. Yeah. Slight bit of alcohol in this. It's pretty high. It's uh, it's 9.1%, like I said, by volume. So it's pretty high in alcohol, but uh, y you can taste it. Nothing uh, terrible, you know, nothing I can't handle. But you can taste the alcohol. It has a nice... Uh, mild bitter finish 
it's it, there's definitely some hops in here it's not hopless it's it's got some hops and it gives you a bitterness to uh, right at the end which is which is good it's not not very strong but uh it's nice to see that they balanced it out and they they used enough hops in with the malt because if uh if there were no hops this would be in my opinion it would be a little bit sweet probably too sweet for me but uh it balances out nicely Let me try this again it's got a medium to thick mouthfeel it's not it's not a crisp light beer it's it's medium heavy it is uh it doesn't have heavy duty carbonation it has a nice smooth very very like light uh, smooth type of small bubble type of carbonation it almost gives it like a uh, like a velvet feel or something it feels right real nice going down uh, it's definitely like a winter type of beer in my opinion this is a nice winter warmer sipper kind of a beer very tasty very very nice mm. beautiful carbonation nice lacing on the glass very nice very caramel toffee forward but it definitely has some hot presence in there it's no question yeah okay so far I like what I tasted it's awesome but uh, as always I like to let it warm up a little bit I'm gonna warm up out here too being as it's a million degrees out here but uh, I'm going to sit with this a little bit. It should warm up pretty quick. And uh, I'll come back and uh, I'll let you know how it is uh, when it warms up and see what else we get. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, Tom J back for the King of Craft Beer Reviews. Okay, so today we're reviewing uh, the Lagunitas, the Hairy Eyeball. I let it uh, warm up. I drank a little down. Um, as it warmed, you could really, really taste the caramel and toffee uh, uh, the the rich malty front to it coming out more and more it also uh, exposed more of its alcohol it got more more boozy as it as, it, as uh, I was drinking it as it warmed up but with that being said and, and I'm not saying that as a negative I'm saying that as a total positive this beer is is, is luscious it's a luscious luscious beer yeah I'm glad to see that Lagunitas straight a little bit because usually everything that they have is really really hop forward you know and they're awesome their beers are awesome I love hop forward but it's nice to see them you know stray a little bit and uh, go with a nice malty malt forward beer and use the hops as a backdrop uh, yeah it's it's definitely it, they definitely know what they're doing over there they're very good brewers very good quality good well-made beer this beer yeah, so with that, excuse me, with that being said, I am going to uh, drink down the rest of this now. Excellent mouthfeel. Very silky smooth going down. I like what they did with the carbonation. They really like they 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 left the carbon. It's almost like a natural carbonation where you get this very very light effervescent, small tiny little you know bubbles that don't uh, that don't really agitate your tongue. It gives it a very velvety feel. Yeah, it's 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 a very good beer. Really good. I enjoyed this. Okay, so with that, I'm going to give it a rating. All right, uh, like I said, Beer Advocate and uh, Rate Beer did not give it a rating, so I don't know where they went with this. But I consider this a very well-made beer, a very delicious beer, a very nice winter warmer. Uh, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a 95 out of 100. 95 out of 100, because it's that good. Yeah, definitely... Uh, I think it's a, it says it's a per peripheral release. I think it's peripheral release. I think it's seasonal. I don't know if you're going to be able to get this all the time. But uh, 
if you can pick this up somewhere, go for it. Should be around in a winter. I'm sure it's going to be around in the winter time because it's definitely a winter time beer. Uh, if you see it, jump on it because it is, it is very, very, very well done. Well done, bro. Okay, so uh, we're done here. Uh, until next time, this is Tom J with the King of Craft signing off. And uh, just remember to drink responsibly.